Hello everyone, this is Lisa Wasniak with Was Marketing. Uh, we help uh, private practice owners to enroll more clients using online marketing strategies. And joining us today is Paul McManus with More Clients, More Fun. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. Awesome to be here. We are thrilled to have you. Uh, Paul, uh, again, is the co-founder of More Clients, More Fun. Paul, if you would, can you just give us a little sense of uh, who you are and what your business is about? Sure. Um, my company, More Clients, More Fun, we help specifically um, coaches, trainers, consultants enroll more high-value clients, so very specifically corporate clients and business owners, business owners as clients, and we teach them how to do that using LinkedIn. Fantastic. Well, you know, uh, Paul and I had the opportunity to work together for the past few months and just wanted to give everyone uh, a sense of what he was dealing with before we got working together and what his experiences were like and what things look like now for Paul today. So Paul, if you would, uh, what was the particular challenge that you were dealing with that led you to enroll my services? Sure. So this is the interesting thing is that, you know, we teach our clients how to use LinkedIn to enroll more clients. And we see our strategies working incredibly well for our clients. And at the same time, um, my own personal um, execution of the strategies were kind of hit and miss. So one week I'd have a little bit more time and I'd execute. And the next week I get, you know, overwhelmed with stuff and too busy and I wouldn't execute. And so of course my results in terms of lead generation were kind of like, uh, you know, up and down, up and down. And so I thought, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Um, and so we'd gotten to know each other before that. And I knew that you did done for you social media. And so I came to Lisa, I came to you and I said, would you please help me? I absolutely need your services. Um, and you agreed to, to work with me. Um, and my goodness, over the, two, over the past two months with you helping me to consistently execute on these lead generation strategies for my business um, and with your level of skill, um, <laughs> it's, it's been off the charts. I am getting so many appointments booked um, on a daily basis with ideal clients from all around the world. Um, that's my market, so I, I work with people all around the world. But just the quality of the leads that are coming in is overwhelming, and I mean that literally. And what has happened is that, you know, almost every day I have a sales call scheduled as a result, and people are saying yes to my offers. And you know, I think for a lot of us, our business growth is a supply and demand thing. And so, you know, if someone watching this, if, there's a solo, if they're a solo entrepreneur, they might relate to this is that, um, you know, one of the ways that we're able to raise our prices is that when we have so much demand for our services, you know, that becomes the only, <laughs> that becomes the solution is that I need to buy my time back. And so the easy way to do that is to raise your prices. And what has been just so awesome about working with you and having you help me execute these LinkedIn strategies is that the demand for my services has been so over, overwhelming that as a natural consequence, I've had to raise my prices. <laughs> and so I'm getting more um, consistently new clients. I'm raising my prices. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, I blame you. I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good problem to have. Yes, yes, yes. Because, because, because my, you know, my, my, all my free time's gone. So that's where I blame you. You know, it's like I, I like the bank account side of it. You know, that's like, you know, it's like high five. But the, the free time thing, it's like, hmm. <laughs> so, can you can you kind of paint a picture for us and let us know what was the point in the process at which that you started to notice things taken turn in the corner? Just the consistency, um, you know, is, is that I've always known that I'm not good at always managing a process consistently. And so um, just how systematic and consistently I was able to book sales conversations with highly qualified prospects um, and just seeing my calendar fill up. Uh, I mean, it was very early. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it worked from the beginning. And it's, it's just, 
I think that's an important distinction too, you know, I mean, it's a level of consistency. That's, that's usually what I tell folks about marketing, you know, is marketing can't be sporadic because if it's sporadic, you'll get sporadic results. No, exactly. And that's, and that's where, you know, anyone listening to this, I would say, you know, it's one thing to have, you know, it's like, I mean, I, I teach this stuff, right? So I train people on this. And so it's not that I don't know what to do, but it's always an execution problem, right? <laughs> and so, you know, this is where for someone who doesn't know what to do, then obviously we need to talk about strategy. But for someone that does know what to do, but knows that they're not consistently executing it, then like myself, it's like, you absolutely need to work with someone like Lisa because she's the one that's gonna make sure it gets done day to day consistently so that you can create the results that you're looking for. Uh, thank you, yes, I mean, it, it does help. But um, so how would you say your business is different now than it was before you had implemented some of these changes? I am in the process of raising all my rates. <laughs> I've already raised them some, I'm raising them again. Um, and it's just, once again, it's like, I'm just trying to buy my time back. Um, I have a variety of services and on all of them, I've raised my rates because it's just, you know, when, once again, when you have so much demand for your services, um, you know, you can scale your business, you can hire more people to help you, which I'm doing that as well. But the second thing is, is, you know, it's how do you raise your rates? And so, I think from just, um, you know, pride and confidence, it's just when you see, you know, for any of us, when you see your business book solid and just so much demand for your services, you know, there's so much confidence that you have as a result. You know, it's because, you know, especially if you're an entrepreneur or solo entrepreneur, you know, you've, you've invested so much time in your education. You want to build your business and it's tough. But when you get to that point where you're just, consistently book solid and you have to close off your calendar for new, for, for new clients because you just don't have the time. You know, that's, that's a wonderful problem to have. Um, and so, you know, for anyone that's not there yet, if they're not book solid, if they're looking to get book solid, if they're looking to be able to raise their rates because there's so much demand for their services, you absolutely need to talk to Lisa because she will help you do exactly that. So what advice would you give to somebody who's really kind of sitting on the fence with this kind of approach to building their business? If they're contemplating making this next move, what, what advice would you give to them in that process? Talk to Lisa. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, you know, if have the conversation because I think, cause I, I, I deal with this in my own business because, you know, we, we offer training um, and different services for people that are looking to build their business. And there's always that thing. I mean, cause there's so many different you know, options out there. It's what do I do? Do I do, do I do this? Do I do that? And it's, you know, it's, I think it's a level of fear, you know, that we have that we don't want to invest in the wrong thing or we don't want to make a mistake. But you know, if you have gone to school and spent tons of money on your education, so you now have the certifications and qualifications to offer a service such as coaching or, if you're a mental health professional, you know, you are doing a disservice to the time and effort you spent getting that if you're not out in the world helping clients. And so you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the people that you did all this for to be successful because we express, we're able to make that impact in the world to the extent that we're able to help people. And the means to do that is to grow our business, to make it a successful practice to fill it with clients that need our services and we help them solve their problems. And so if what you've been doing hasn't been working for you, then you absolutely owe it to yourself to have a conversation with Lisa because she can quickly help you turn that around. Well, thank you for that. Um, I, I think that's a really important distinction, you know, as, uh, as a professional person, whether you're uh, a medical professional or, or otherwise a business professional, you think about what it is that you want to give to the world. What are the services that you want to give to the world? What's the difference that you want to make in today's world? And what's the best way for you to maximize your efforts and reach as many people as possible? So yeah, that's an important distinction. Thank you for that. Yeah, no. And, and that's the thing is that, you know, I think ultimately, you know, many of us coaches, you know, private practice business owners, we didn't start our practice to become a marketer, right? <laughs> we started our practice so that we could help our 
clients with our gifts. And so if you're maybe an executive coach, you know, you want to help leaders develop. But I think the confusion right now for a lot of people is that they believe that they have to do everything themselves. They have to figure out all these different tools that um, help them get them clients, but it just, it creates a lot of anxiety and overwhelm. I've seen so many people give up on their dreams and go back to getting a quote unquote corporate job. Um, And so, you know, work with the best, you know, hire someone that has a proven track record of helping people like you get results and do yourself a favor and (laughs) talk to Lisa because (laughs) the the ability for her to help you, you know, she, she has a lot, you have a lot of knowledge and background. And so you're a marketing expert, but you also work with a very specific market, um, private practice owners. And so you know the challenges that they come with. And so you know exactly what works, why it works, what to, what doesn't work, why it doesn't work and why you should avoid that. And so you can save people so much time in their journey to being successful and you can help them at the level that they're at. So if they're just starting out, you can help them move forward much more quickly. If they're already successful, but they just want that consistency and execution like me, um, you can help them with that. And so, you know, have that conversation. Thank you. I have to tell you, it's really been a pleasure serving you over the past couple of months and looking forward to um, a business relationship for many years into the future. So thank you so much for everything that you do, Paul, and for taking the time to talk to us today. Again, this is Paul McManus, co-founder of More Clients for Fun, and I am Lisa Wozniak from Woz Marketing, helping you navigate your yellow brick road.